Hey yo, what's up people? It's your boy Tizzle. You know from Cold Seven. This is the Pilot Talk Edition, man. With the boy Youngin, man, you know what I'm saying? We up here, we chilling, man. We got the boy Skinny here today with us. Yeah, yeah. And we're gonna just chop it up about music, Vegas, and what's going on. You see I got the mask on, so we still quarantine living, but uh we're gonna make it through it. They, they, they keep asking how I'm living, I say daddy, daddy They say your brother's still in that prison, I say daddy, daddy Ain't living great, but shit, I'm trying to get my family straight But we gon' make it in a major way hey. What's up with you, bro? Man, nah, shit, man You know I like Same old day to day That's what's Life up. been good, for real, for real For sure, man I feel good being free, shit First off, let me say I'm glad you're taking your music serious, finally You know what I mean? You ain't doing it every two weeks you own your shit now, man. You know, you dropping hella heat. You doing your thing and shit. So like, what's the ultimate goal? Like, what, what you want to end up off of? It? The top. Okay. What's, <laughs> the, what's the top though? Yeah, to you. You know, everybody got what's their own. What's top? What's What's your definition of success? Some people is just like, if I get a meal, I'm successful. What's success for you? Jay Z. His success. To be able to say I, mean, I got more than just rap, I got. Absolutely, because I look at Jay-Z, I look at Gucci Man, I look at Gotti, I look at all the motherfuckers that's really, that's, that's, that, that really got a solid foundation that they didn't came up off of from nothing, you feel me? Right. And I study a lot of artists as far as Jay-Z, Gucci Man, Gotti, the artists that I just named, because to me, now I'm just stating my opinion, just to me, them is the most successful street niggas. They done turned it into... Something that they probably never would have imagined shit 15, 20 years ago, you feel me? Right. So that's basically where I where, where I really imagine myself being is the top man. That's the only place I I, I, I wanna go. If I if I can't get there, shit. That's, I feel you. That's one hundred man. You know, you've been rapping for so long. How long you how old was you when you started rapping? Ten. Like, Ten? I come to you. Where the influence come from? Ah, my big cousin Y man, that nigga was a lady. Yeah. It was a great I know why that nigga he was I tell you every time I see you, I bring up that nigga. Man, nigga was he, was, he was a different kind of animal, man. He was like one of the most talented. That's actually where I my heard. name and all that shit really, really came from, like him, because he was Y Majesty the Town's Crown, and I was Jr. Young the Town's Crown Junior. So, okay. But once everything started transpiring, you know, life happened to us all different. So once everything started transpiring and shit spiraled out of control, and whatever his situation that it may be that took place with him, shit, I just. I took my own path and I changed it. Y'all get hard body because of my situation and the shit that I didn't been through. Cause Cause I really different. feel like that. At, at first, when I used to hear you, when I first, when I first heard you, I was like, okay, this nigga dope. Your mama brought you to the studio. You rap, and I was like, he too young to know them words. So, you know what I mean? He was sure. Then I heard YA. And one freestyle you spit for him was why ain't shit you oh, switched God. your name. I used to stay doing that. I, st I took all it. I took all that nigga lyrics. I was like, this slick nigga. But, so, when you started recording, was he, I'm not going to say writing for you, helping you write. Because sometimes it could be, you he might write actually wrote, bars. wrote uh, my first song. I did, uh, and this was just to help me record. I did that, that Jeezy Soul Survivor. Yeah. And he actually had a 16 that he had, but he said, it sound childish. So... When he said it sound childish, I look at him like, nigga, like, it sound childish, but you trying to give it to me? Like, right. nigga, I'm, I'm, I'm grown, you feel me? But <laughs> in all actuality, I'm 10, I'm a kid, you feel me? So I'm like, all right, I'm going to run with it. He like, but this is only to help you record. Right. So I took it, I recorded it, it came out. He never told nobody. I'm the first person to ever expose that. Wow. He never told nobody nothing, but he wrote my first verse. But it gave me comfortability in the studio you right. feel me so like i i, I got you was already used to rapping his raps because you always around him right right so he was right. like oh this this easy yeah well then, okay Basically, that makes sense that well, makes sense i mean I that's never... how it starts though that's how it starts you know most people we start rapping anybody start rapping an artist whoever yeah, the favorite artist absolutely. is and then you put your own words in there and you get it popping you are just having to be obedient when i listen to, so when i listen to hip-hop i listen to the cadence yeah, we got the same cadence, and, and I would say we got the same cadence because that nigga taught me how to count bars, and he count bars different than other people. Right. So like, I was I was actually when I was in the pen with Weibo, me and Weibo had an argument about 
how to count bars. I'm like, every three seconds is a bar. He like, no, every four seconds is a bar. But YA taught me like one, two, three, one. That's a bar. But that's that that second one is actually four. So I sound dumb. So I'm a man. I'm gonna admit to it. Like, yeah, that shit sounds stupid. But listen, it is every four seconds. But to me, it's still three because I was just saw yeah. some. It still depends on the pride. tempo. It depends on the tempo of who making the beat too. Though. Federal music, yeah. how that came about. That's what you got out right now. Matter of fact, before we even get into all that, we didn't get into that. What you got out, what you working on, what you doing. Oh, Federal Music out right now. Y'all can look that up. Search me on YouTube. Young and Hard Body Federal Music. The official music video to my outro, Fed Up. That's on there. Uh, I got Can't Do Nothing With Me. That ain't, that's not on Federal Music, but that's just a video that I uh, shot with my brother, uh, Rose East. That's been my nigga since I was like nine years old. I've been on that since elementary school. Uh, so yeah, that's out. And then like federal, <coughs> uh, how federal music came about to answer your question, not to override that. Uh, federal music came about in the I, feds. In the feds, basically, <laughs> shit. For real, for real. Because I'm in the cell one day. Everything. My celly just go to the hole. They found all type of crazy shit in the cell. But that's neither here nor there. He take the rap for everything. He go to the hole. I'm in the cell by myself, going crazy, waiting on my MP3 to come. So I'm just walking back and forth, pacing, rapping to myself, thinking about everything that's going on. I'm like, damn, I'm going to just put this shit into my music. Mind you, though, I had shit that I wrapped myself into the feds, to me. Right. Because when I was out on the run, I kept rapping about it. I said in one of my one of my songs, I recorded at your studio. I said, uh, no more round no more round round with that nine. Now I ride with two four fives. And I'm an ex felon rather be in the feds than to see my mama them cry. Yeah. Mm. I said that on that song. Ten months later I ended up in the feds. So as I'm walking and I'm I'm thinking about that and I'm rapping all that shit in my mind, I'm like, damn, I talked this shit like I spoke Whatever this shit to existence. You feel majority me? of that shit on federal music is all from 2016. It sound new. Yeah. But all that shit from 2016 before I even went to the feds. But like I said, even though I wrapped myself into the feds, all them songs sound like it really was because it was like that's something that had to happen. You feel me? So, so I got a question for you, right? Since you feel like you wrapped yourself into the feds, like, are you more conscious about your bars now? Absolutely. Yeah. I just said a bar the other day on a song with uh, me and my little brother with uh, JK Hardbody. I said a, I said a bar in the song. I said. Uh, the feds gonna give me, I said something about the feds gonna give me life if they catch me with this one. Yeah. But when I said it, I said, damn, why I say that, that shit again? Yeah, you God. feel me? But <laughs> but it be so real though, because like, that's really for real. Like, yeah, like that shit for that real. Reality. Like, my real. life is like, yeah. for real. That's why I call myself Young and Hard Body, because I didn't, I didn't, to me, man, I'm 5'3, probably 100 and. 29 pounds right now. You feel? Yeah. I feel like so, Shaq next to you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, because like, but I say hard body. People be asking like, why do you say hard body? I'm like, man, y'all know what I've been through. Like, I done been 16 in prison, shot at, damn near shot, did all type of crazy shit. I done been behind the gun and in front of it. You feel me? Facts, facts. So in my life, like, then not to not to mention it, rest in peace, my mama, she died rest ten peace, days peace. before I get home, out of bro. and I was in a hole. I was doing fifty six days in a hole before when I when I got the news, you feel me? So it's just like I'm hard body. Niggas ain't built, niggas can't niggas man, listen. And I'm not even just to discredit the next man, but me personally, I don't feel that certain individuals can go through what I went through. And that's where hard body comes from. Going into your next project is Send us to the streets. Send us to the streets. That's gonna be the hardest shit ever. That's 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 killing federal music. Send us to the streets. Turn like I told you at the beginning of the interview. I told myself when I was in the feds when I come home because Sky was telling me he like bros, motherfuckers' attention span is not that long out here. You feel me? So he like, you can't just come home how it used to be because you know like I said I start rapping at ten. I've been dropping every. I've been, I done did everything. I done rapped in the studio with everybody in Vegas. Right. SU, Sadru, Pee Wee, uh, Two T's, uh, everybody. You feel me? I done did, you know, you done right. been around, you know. Right. So, he like, yo, motherfuckers attention span not that long. Right. So, you can't just come home dropping a 14 song mixtape and expect people to listen. But this sentence to the street, something different. I mean, it come together. It, that shit crazy. I'm so like, this, yeah. this is my only thing I got with you right now. 
outside, I'll tell y'all talking about your gangsta music. You gotta make something for the females. You gotta act like you get pussy. Outside of that, <laughs> outside of that, what you doing? The, um, what you doing? The the sinister the streets, the federal music. For the most part, you just remaking songs. Uh, you're not really giving us. It's not an original beat. It's not. Oh yeah, I got original beats on there that coming from where I come from on there. That's gonna be on the new, uh, the new shit. Yeah, I can go through my track list as a matter of fact. This all live too, so I, this shit, this, <laughs> shit, this shit, uh, my intro, not original, but G Herbo, bro, I crushed that shit, I ain't gonna lie. Counting Me Out, original, uh, Dying For The Shit, original, Expose Em, original, All I Got Was Spit A P, Freecher Rose E, shout out to them niggas too, original, sure. Coming From Where I Come From, original, Fighting Demons with Pistols, shout out Brody, that shit original. And then Remember Them Days with JK, that shit original. That's half of the mixtape. Now, what's okay. not original, I crushed your intro. That's original. Uh, I mean, that's not original. The Baby Freestyle, uh, that's not original. Emotionally Scarred Little Baby, 762s, that's not original. But everything else is original. And you see, I name more than okay. everything else is original. Six but it's out a mixtape. Six out of ten. That, I mean, that's why I'm asking. Because federal music was mostly... Um, other people beats. Yeah, I know it's only five songs or whatever, but, it's but other it was people. it was other people beats due to my situation of incarceration. So we had MP3s in there, but we can plug our MP3s up to the computer and download instrumentals. But it was other people beats, so I had no choice but to rap on other people beats. But what I will do when I go in the studio, since it's somebody else beat, I'll put different effects. I had an engineer. Shout out Pat too. That's my partner, man. I had him put different uh, 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 effects on the beat, so it won't sound as much like their beat than it was prior to me recording on it. Send it to the streets. They gonna get all that though. That's why I told you when I called you. Right. Like I think I'm gonna give them twenty. You like nah? I split it up right. because I got original beats. I got so many different people on there that's featuring. I got uh, Creo from the Two Realists. I got Spit a P uh, on there. Yeah, yeah, I got uh, Spit a P, Rose East. I got Pistols, of course. I got Pee Wee. Oh, yeah, I got man. I got so many different people from the city that's on this tape. Send it to the streets. Gonna be crazy, man. Right, so I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get Trey Bizzle, man, but I don't know what's going on with Trey. We'll see what's happening, man. You know what? Trey supposed to be pulling up soon, man. We got some shit with him, so we'll see what's up. Yeah. Um, if I go on YouTube and I look up uh, Hard Body, Young and Hard Body, I'm going to see, oh, he just remake shit. So right now they know, right now, what they finna get from your next project is... Oh, yeah, majority original. That's why I say Sentence to the Streets is going to be way bigger than federal music. It's going to set the tone. Absolutely. Well, it's going to set the tone. Play, man. No play. Matter of fact, on federal well, music, no for real, for there. real, no play on there. The gang is on there. What else on it? I got so much fucking music. All that was well, except for dying for this shit. See, dying for this shit. I wrote that in the feds. That's okay. why I said that shit. Freedom niggas in the feds though. Shit, they ain't never coming home though. And I couldn't even see my son grow. I said that because I, I was in the cell with the homies. They like, man, they in there high drunk. You know how niggas do in jail. They like, man, rap something. I'm like, I'm gonna write something. They like, you gonna write something? This gonna take you hell long. I said, I swear to God, I'm gonna do it in seven minutes. They said seven minutes. They said come back. I came back with 32 bars in seven minutes. My verse on dying for this shit was 32 bars. I came back in like seven, eight minutes tops. They like, man, this little nigga the truth. <laughs> that's, that's, dope. that's all I can say. Man, this little nigga the truth. But my grandma used to tell me all the time, and I swear to God, she used to tell me all the time, like, you ain't watch no cartoons growing up. You ain't on that. She said, I turn off BET. She said, even BET after dark. I used to have to keep keep you out of that, keep you away from that shit. Cause you in there, hands in your pants. I was like, you feel me? But um but she said she turned it off, I start crying. So you just always adapt to the music like that. I guess. That shit like I don't know. It's like my pop said. You didn't play sports or nothing, did you? I ain't, so you... I ain't never did none of that. I was in the streets and rapping. I know lately you've been shooting hella video videos. Oh yeah. What videos you got coming up? Uh, that the baby intro and G Herbo, I gotta tell you again, bro. Listen, bro, crush that shit. So you did both of them on this one. Yeah, 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 together. Um, me, I, I ain't gonna say top three, but I'll say who your three most you feel inspiration. Jay Z, number one for sure. Right. Here you like right now, right now. Who bars you hear and be like, damn, nigga, I wanna go harder at this shit. Dirt, dirt. He speak for Chicago. 
them niggas out there, they love dirt. You feel me? And when right. I just heard that, yeah. that just because y'all waited, I said, oh my God. I, I listened to Viral Moment like over and over and over and over again. So Jay Z, Dirk, and I gotta put Wayne in there. Because like listen, even yeah. even though I don't like the way Wayne yeah. has turned yeah. out right now, he the man. Back in the day, he was that guy, bro. He was, he was the murderer, bro. Bro, he was the best he ever heard. And then remaking beats like he brought up. I seen Wayne do it and he he prospered from it. Right. He did. So like I told y'all at the beginning of the interview, I study artists and I see how certain artists come up. I see how certain artists do shit that will always be, he, I don't give a fuck if we got a top 30, he gonna be in the top five. Yeah, man. That like, nigga a genius, bro. You know what, I knew he was, I know he was going with that dirt shit, but the way you put it together, I'm about to respect that. Oh yeah. Cause dirt. boy, cause uh. Dirt, listen bro. I fuck with so, dirt. Dizzy Wright. Prior to me knowing Dizzy Wright, I ain't know nothing about Dizzy Wright. Remember before you went to the joint? You kept on saying, nigga, pay attention to Dizzy Wright. Dizzy Wright finna be this, Dizzy Wright finna be this. Then when you called me from the joint, you said, bro, didn't I tell you about Dizzy Wright? And by that time, he was signed to Hobson. Listen, I be torn, telling people all everything. the time, right? I swear to God. There's another thing I always tell my baby mama. I swear to God, I'm like a good judge of character. Dude, as an overall artist, I don't give a fuck what people got to say about dude. Dude, as an overall artist, mm -hmm. he liked that. He's smart. Why? Because he follows trends. Yeah, some people, that's your lane. So if you can't follow a trend and keep up with a trend, your marketing and everything like that is gonna skyrocket. 100. And his, his fan base is crazy. His, his fan, and it's solid. Yeah, it's you know what I'm saying? Like, to me, I always crazy. say that nigga, like, he, he Vegas Wiz Khalifa to me. Period. Well, Right. To me so, too though. Like I ain't yeah. never, that that's who I always uh vision him being. Bro, I remember recording with uh, not recording but performing with him. It was me Tox, me Toxic, shout out Toxic. It was me oh, Toxic. Bring him up next. So I'm glad you yeah, did. Toxic. It was me Toxic. We was, you know how we was. We had mm -hmm. the celebration, the celebration too. You know, that's SU little brother. So him mm -hmm. and him SU and YA was locked in. Right. Me and Toxic been knowing each other since middle school. You feel right. me? We went to Johnston. So we was locked in already. And then he started seeing me rap. He like, damn, how you do that? And I'm like, nigga, watch your brother. I said, I watch why you watch SU. I said, but I used to always, I, I used to be in competition with Tox though, cause Tox cold. So I used to be, cold. I, used to, I used to be in competition with Tox like, man, listen, bro, I'm finna, I'm finna go in here after you. Write your verse first. I used to let him write his verse first in the studio. Write your verse first, cause when you write your verse, I'm finna go and bear you. I promise you I am. Cause I'm not about to let you do me any kind of way on the song. We right. performed at Three Kings Hookah Lounge. Dropped you off. On, on God, you did. Dizzy, uh, Dizzy uh, was up there. Mm -hmm. But I was so... Because everybody knew who the fuck I was, like, in the city, you feel me? Everybody knew who I was. So, when Dizzy approached me, he like, I think y'all should fuck with me. And like leave all that kill off and uh, that's when I was fucking with the kill off niggas with T and all them and T rap and all them. He like I think you should leave all that alone and come you and Tox should come fuck with me. And me and Tox was so full of ourselves we pull up Magnum. It's 2009. We we 13, 14 driving around in a Dodge Magnum. You feel me? After you drop us off, you drop me off up up there with Tox. We pull up in a Dodge Magnum and all the shit. So we full of ourselves. We like man, listen, we ain't fucking with you, nigga. <laughs> Right. But he turned out to be some big, and I respect him. When uh, I think Golden Age had dropped, yep. And I was already so I was already kind of fucking with Hobson as yeah. an artist. So I was like, damn, this dude dope. And then it was like, oh, he got. They did a, a cipher, and it was like Dizzy Wright, Las Vegas, Nevada. And I was like, what he made double X sale and everything. I seen that right. shit with pen. I, so I said, damn. I said, why do I know this? Crazy. Crazy. So I was like, why do I know this name? And then I was like, Youngin. Youngin told me about this nigga. Then you called me and told me more about him. So, Dizzy Wright, you told me Dizzy Wright was gonna be who he was gonna be. Toxic was doing all the backpack rap shit. Where we doing his homework? Well, he Bro. always don't And this, But this before they was who they was. It's Cause I used to tell, I used to tell you all the time, like, you supposed to be there. Prince. Only because of, only because of. Circumstances. Only because of what you put yourself in. Like, I, I, outside of talent, right? I, I tell regret it. I tell everybody you don't got nothing Damn, to do with it. With talent, it's about the the five motherfuckers you put yourself around, and you was you was around the top five people that made it somewhere. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And then you just took yourself out the equation. Yeah. Okay. And I so, forgot Toxic was from Vegas. Till you called me and said you heard Toxic new shit. And I'm like, yeah. And you was like, that's, you told me who he was. And I'm like, oh, okay. You right. So is there a moment when you like, you know what? I'm not finna carry this heat. Or I'm not finna, like, I'm finna do straight music. Like, I'm going to the studio to here. That's how I am now, like, right. uh, since, not to cut you off. No, you go ahead. I, 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 get, I get exactly what you're asking me. That's how I am now, like, I can never change where I'm from. Facts. That's how. Can't change it. Being from hoods, being from flip, being from the squad, I can't change it. Right. I can't, I can't, you feel me? I can't change it. Yeah. So, whatever situation approaches me, I have to handle that as a man. In that, in that time. Gotcha. But I avoid it at all costs. So now what I do is, I told Scott earlier, I said, nigga, I'm a rapper. Right. That's how you to be that's, I'm a rapper. You gotta be. You gotta I, said, I, series, I said, listen, so. I'm a rapper. Listen, I go, I listen, I go to the studio, I shoot videos, I go home, I get drunk, I chill, I write music, and that's all I do now. I'm a rapper because... I don't give a fuck what the next nigga got to say about Youngin, cause I know where Youngin stand. I know right. Youngin hard body. I know what I done been through. I know how many niggas I done got into it with. I know everything. Right, you know you. Rap, right. I'm not. Right. I don't got no smoke with no niggas in the streets unless they approach me. Right. With the bullshit. Because now it's something different and I see what I can do. I realize everything that I have at stake now. You feel me? So, and that's just me talking to you from a man. Right. Now, I mean, and that's 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 where you gotta be at. You gotta be in a, in a, in the position of a man, because like, um, like Tizzle asked Trey Bizzle one of the realest question, like you know when it kind of recording with certain people, you know, because we we in a time where it's like, oh shit, youngin youngin recording with one of the ops. You feel me? And mother and so then it's like, uh, can I record this song with him? And can I? But if you're a rapper. I that shouldn't mean nothing. I, I, I can rap with I, I, whatever I get, rap I, I want to rap I get exactly what you're saying, but it's just certain niggas that I just can't go against the grain with, right? And it's because of, like I said, I can't change where I'm from. I can't change it. Fact. So if one of your homies then shot one of my homies, I'm not getting on the song with you. Period. That makes sense. If that one of your homies then did something to my homies to actually harm them and take them away from their children... I can't fuck with you. Okay, now th th here's why I'm finna challenge that. We've been doing Cold 7 for six months. It's niggas Shout we- Shout Cold 7 too, that shit going up. I see them, <laughs> I see them subscribers. <laughs> I say, ooh, look at them it's subscribers. Jiggly. We get them so, subscribers though. So, same as you a street nigga, same as you from where you from, we from where we from. You you know Absolutely. all Absolutely. So, we, we have decided. It's niggas and got us like, man, you can't react to these niggas. So we told niggas like, me, y'all just fucked up. Yeah, we I'm gonna react to who the, whoever yeah, the fuck I want to react to. Yeah, you stand on what you stand and, on as a man. And and if I want to do an interview with that nigga, regardless of how you feel about it, I'm going to do that interview because at this moment, this is business. Period. The streets is out of it. The streets. Yeah. Is, this is business at this moment. Well, so who I decide to interview, who I decide to react to, as a man, I'm going to do that. About that. You should be able to record songs with whoever the fuck you want to record songs with or whatever you want to do. Because at this moment, you're taking your business serious. I should still be able to do that. But my morals and my how what I stand on, it's like this. Okay, that's just like, okay, you started Top Niggas. And you from Squash. You can't tell me that. Okay, right. but listen, you started Top Niggas, right? right? Okay, so if a nigga shot t Braze, right? Uh-huh. Would you do an interview with him and he shot t Braze? Or would you do a song? You rap, you rap from time to time too. Would you do a song with him and he shot this? Especially at his age. You gotta remember his age. At his tell age. him how old you is. Okay, now. So, hey, 25. 25. At 25, let's be funky. Let's keep it funky. Keep it funky. So, no. Just so, but this is what I'm saying. I'm not saying it has to be a nigga that directly harms your niggas. What I'm saying is, okay, I understand you from there. Like you said, going in, you said, I know that your homies did something to my homies. It's not nothing between me and you. That's a different situation. T Bray, this is my nigga. And you did something to T Bray. Okay. It's not your homie did it. You did but it. I'm not gonna be specific. If, right? no, no, no. if we don't have direct hate, direct beef, can can you say, you know what? Me and you as men. Oh man, listen, uh Don't have direct beef. Listen, we me, can do this. Me, okay, listen. 
you know I'm from hoods, you from hoods. You know you the reason I'm from hoods. For right. real, for real. Okay, facts. He the reason I'm from hoods. All, you know how our family get down. If you're not from NTG, you are from hoods. Period. Facts. Okay, cool. Rose Gold Blanco. I mean, Benzo. Benzo. My little nigga, I gotta yeah. bring him in here. See, I, I, I fucked up. Because I know the nigga is Trey Mac. I've been knowing him since we was kids. Kids, right. Okay, cool. He from Donna. Oh, well, you right. know how that situation go. Right. That's my nigga, though. Right. I will do a song with him. And that, that's, that's, that's the part yeah, that's I'm saying. Talking about, yeah. I'm not talking about personal yeah. beef. I Let's be about. honest. In this, in, when you come to this gang shit, right? A lot of niggas from neighborhoods and they not they that. Not, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, they not that. I, so I don't have to have a problem with you because I know you're not that. You know, know what I'm saying? Yes. I mean, that shit is transparent. Right. Right. You can see through that oh, shit. Right. That's cool. You come with it him. depends on the person overall. Right. So right. if you bring in yeah. all the extras, can't respect me. And you got to know what they own. Like, if you... It's different, like if you know somebody business orientated, you know they really on their right. shit. They not banging, they ain't in certain, they not in certain circles. You can do your thing with them. Right. You know what I'm but like, like, like he's saying, though, so what he's saying is, oh, don't cut off a whole lane. Nah, I ain't never. For real, for yeah, real. because that's what, that's I know. But, but if you but if you've been because, listening to me through the whole interview, I study this shit. Yeah, you know, so you bro. Know. You my, you, yeah, you right. know. Yeah. I've been studying it. I live it. I breathe it. I shit it. I sleep. I live it. I'm a rapper. <laughs> Yeah. Because in this art form, that, you, and that's what I told you I if, was I'm right. So if you let's say you become that, let's let's say you and Trey Mac, we're gonna use him. Y'all both become the, this this energy. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all the top of what Vegas has going on right now. When the when the dude say, you know what, I want to book both of y'all for a show and I'm willing to pay y'all both 50k just to get on stage, do you say no I can't get on stage because who are you gonna bring with him? At this moment, it's business. Uh, what I will say is, I will hit Trey Mac, and I will tell him it's business. So everybody from my side, it's coming. That, that is, well, I wouldn't necessarily say it's coming. I would say everybody from my side that you feel like have a problem with your side, let me know. And everybody from your side that I feel like have a problem, I'm gonna let you know. Because they they're not going to handle business. Me and you gonna handle business. Period. This is fifty thousand dollars we talking about. We not talking about ten thousand dollars. We talking about fifty thousand dollars. Right. We, the, bro so, the broke niggas ain't gonna. The broke niggas gonna fuck this up. Period. I ain't, uh, the broke gang banging niggas. Yeah. Y'all 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 still, still, still on Donna. Y'all playing games. Right. Okay. Right. But okay, my niggas still on Civic Center too, and some of them niggas still playing games. Right. Okay. So this is what we about to do. I'm about to shorten this list. You about to shorten your list. And we gonna see who can act civilized right now at this place of business, like you said. Because that's what I, and that's okay. what I'm saying. And that's how we're gonna correspond. Now, if we can't correspond that way, what I'm gonna do is I don't give a fuck if you call in it back door, and I don't give a fuck what you call in it. I'm gonna hit this promoter that just hit me for this 50k, and I'm gonna say, listen, this nigga not following protocol. <laughs> that's period. He not following protocol. I want this fifty thousand. I don't know if he want it. I want it. Yeah. Nigga, listen, my son need all type of shit. Listen, listen. You tell me what you want me to perform. Right. And we can do it without him. Right. That's just what I'm going to be on. I, and if, it, if a nigga can't respect it, then it, just, it, it is what it is. No, I, I, that's what I'm saying. I understand I understand that business is business. And that's, that's a mindset we have to get in. That's a mindset I want to get everybody in. Mm -hmm. Because at the same time with us doing Code 7, we react to everybody. You know what I'm saying? Right. Whether you gang affiliated or you not gang affiliated, we sit here and react to everybody. Nigga, it's, yeah, it's I'm gonna keep it real. I be saying certain shit like, man, these niggas. This, it's it's to ten. <laughs> I swear to God, it's I ten. Be, a, it's ten or fifteen videos that we got that we ain't dropped. You right. know what I'm saying? Like we really every day we working every day. When Tizzle come in here, we do like seven. I got a list. We got hell of shit. So man. when niggas hit me with. Links. I really got all the links on my phone, so I got a list of. I had to links. get out of a, not to cut you off, but Go I ahead. had to get out of a, a aura to where like, man, these niggas know that this stuff, these niggas know what the fuck is they doing. You feel me? <laughs> but due to the fact that you 
You said it's a business. This is business. But, but you said it's a business. It's different. Like, so how can I disrespect y'all right. as being my older relative? Y'all the reason why I am who I am today. You feel me? Right. So it just be like. Nah, At the end of the day, yeah. like you know, one thing about us, we ain't gonna sugarcoat shit. If you not, if we think you playing with it, we not about to show, we not gonna fuck with you. If you got one foot in, one foot out, if I feel like that, because the nigga know you've been rapping forever. You feel me? You've been dope forever. I be like, tired of this shit. For so real. if you ain't taking it serious, we ain't gonna take that shit serious. Like your versatility, I kind of draw to it and give it an extra shot. Right. Because so many people sound alike. Cause I listen to so many different styles of me. Like you brought up Wayne. When we had the Waynes, when, we, when Wayne was out. Prime example, Wayne Sky's the Limit. Who oh, knew God. Mike Jones' version of Sky's the Limit? Yes. Nobody. I had never even heard that. I still never heard that. <laughs> Bruh. But that's one of my favorite songs. I'm going to keep it real. I hate to compare him to this, but Pistol Sky's the Limit went crazy. I don't remember. I don't, that I don't nigga said that Pistol. Tommy Cole like Martin. And I'm brother man on the steps, nigga. <laughs> Pistol so, monster, bro. I, I said, ooh, it. this nigga here. Pistol a beast. That's what I'm saying. I swear so, to God, God can strike me down right now. My son, Mike Pistols, told me. He said, bro, Wayne did this. And they did it. See, people don't remember. Him and Lil' Cancer, they did that in like, we've been rapping for so long. They did that in like 2007, 8. But Pistols brought it back. And Pistols begged LC, like, write your verse to this. Like, mm -hmm. we in Cody's studio. Like, shout out Cody got beats too. We in Cody's studio, and he like, write your verse to this LC. Like, man, he high, he exhausted. Because we didn't, because when we go in the studio, we booking six, seven hours. Like, we just going in and we just, we just doing shit. So he begging, it's like the last hour. It's like 10, 8 minutes, like, quick. But when I heard, he like, bros, Wayne did this. He like, I gotta go crazy. I said, this Mike Jones beat. What you just said, you said nobody would ever know. I nobody said, knows. I said that's Mike Jones beat. He said, is it? This new wave is, is you said it's worse. Hell yeah, this shit horrible. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a trend. Mm -hmm. And whatever trend it is, people is gonna follow it because they want to be popping. Right. They want to be Facebook famous. They want to be Instagram famous. They want everybody watching a snap. They want everybody watching a Tumblr. They want everybody following them, following a Twitter, following this, following that. So that's what they're going to do. Even in their mind, they telling they said, oh, God, I done had people tell me, like, this shit is weak, but this was popping right now. For real. I locally, literally have people locally, tell me they that need work. not to do that. Locally, you need to do what the fuck you feel works. But see, locally, it's worse than the industry, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because you got people, so you got people from certain neighborhoods. They're gonna be like, he hard, but lyrically, dude, it's trash. Work. They support. They support theirs though. But they support theirs, and that's what, all hey, that I'm matters. Hey, people will support a sorry dude before a, a good dude though. But then like, they gonna hate. It. So that's that's weird. that's what I'm saying, right? It's I, weird. It's weird, I listen. Bro. People support a sorry dude. Like, 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 yeah. like. I, I always hear y'all say that people don't like me and pistols. We don't make songs about females. I do. I just haven't put them out yet. But like pistol said, he not doing it. And he tell me all the time. He like, bros, I'm not doing it. That's crazy. And he said, he said in uh, on Renegade um, for the ops. He said, uh, they say all the nigga music violent. Where well, your violin, I need to use it. Nigga still me mugging like Papa. I only make 30 rocker music, nigga. Yeah, he only make niggas that, he only make music for niggas that rock 30 rounds. Yeah, everybody got their lane. That's his lane. Yeah, for sure. He like, man, fuck these bitches. That's yeah, what he no. owns. Look, 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 but you know who buy the album? Rossi, Rossi, the bitches. Rossi, Rossi. Listen, Rossi. listen, Rossi. I just did the video on Thursday, right? Okay, I pull up to the video shoot. I pull up on Yale, where we grew up at, on Yale Street. Me, Pistols, Ricky, LC, Lil Bunny, everybody, where we started Flip at, right? The bitch pop out the car. I ain't gonna say no names, but the bitch pop out the car. She run, she jump on me, right? Bruh, I got, if I, if I move, I'm a dropper. I don't wanna drop the bitch on the head, you feel me? So I, I, I hold her, like, but bitches still love it. I get on my United Masters. Which I upload all my music. That's how I get all on all our platforms. I'm in California. I go to my United Masters. I don't even check it. I don't care about the money. None of that shit that's coming here. You feel me? Because it's gonna come to my PayPal anyway. You feel me? So I get on my United Masters. It got a. It, it's, it's segregated. Yeah. So it said 
females and males. Males said 25%. Females said 79%. Yeah, I, 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 I for sure get that. I get that. Um, I'm just saying, like, but even though we don't make music so for the this, bitches, like, I swear to God, like, the bitches is still, no matter what. The bitches gonna listen to it regardless, but this, so this, this is my point, too, and I'm not even saying they're you gonna gotta listen make, to it more. Hold on, I'm not saying, listen, I'm not saying you gotta make songs to bitches. for bitches. Just more what I'm, what I'm saying is this, more creativity time. matter when you trying to be professional and you trying to be serious about, about this, about what you're doing, right? Creativity matter. I'm, with, when we was talking about the different ages. I'm 36. I've been through three different ages of music. Right. Right? Facts. So now I'm and you done been in tune. Right. So, so I I like I like some of the newer music because I like creativity. I like to see a motherfucker creativity. Right. To me, listen to your listen to y'all music is like this shit is is cool. I don't hear the youngin' with lyrics no more. I don't hear that no more. It's right. cool. He all right. But that when I hear your brother, he's creative. That's why I'm like, he's JK is harder than you because he's more creative than you. And right. in this game, you have facts. to be creative. Facts. You don't get the Mike Jones, the niggas who I felt was trash. You don't get them niggas but without some type of creativity. But that's how I used to be. But since how, I'm going to keep it real. Like I brought up dirt. Right. Everyone in the fucking United States is following the drill music. Okay, but let, okay. I, Nick, mind you, you talk to a nigga that listen to everything for, for, too. For real though, they, they, so they now are though. We go, to, we, go to, we go to his new music, right? He got songs to the bitches. Right. He has songs from Drill shit. Mm. He has a one. album He has an album that say Love for the Streets or something like that. Yeah. One song. And then the so rest what? of the song that's to the bitches is to India, his girlfriend. Right. Okay. I'm not saying it has to be to the bitches like that. I ain't saying you gotta make a juvenile back it up. No, you just gotta show the world you're not gay. But that, that's why, I, that's why right. I did no play. play because That's why I came off. I said, I'm getting this money. Money, blue faces, them hundreds, hundreds. I really be on it, they really don't want it. Why? Because if niggas did shit, they'd really be on it. My bitch, she stay with me. With me, she don't do no hickeys. Hickeys just hundreds and fifties. Yeah, hundreds and fifties. Fifties, you talking about bread? Bread be there in the Jeffrey. Okay, what's going on in our city? If you not pimping, if you a bitch, if you not hoeing, boosting, mm -hmm. or stripping, you just a nobody, right? Facts. Okay, so boom, I proved that. I said that to prove to a point like, oh yeah, it's live in Vegas. Not only that, the bitches, they felt that. When I said that, they felt that. Bitches hit me like, damn, youngin', I didn't know that you can rap like that. I only thought you could rap on some shoot 'em up bang bang. And I'm like, yeah. nah, like That's, no no play is a better no play is a better record to me. And I hated no play when you first did it. I thought that shit was ass, right? right? After I kept listening to it, it became a better thing to me because your cadence was different. Right. You chose a new style right. and you got creative. That's why I like no play. And I'm gonna be honest. I hated it at first. Since I'm so in, since I was so in tune with the streets during the process of me writing no play, it took me seven days to write no play. Mind you, at the beginning of this interview, I just told you I could write a verse in seven to eight minutes. I know. Like I, like I tell anybody, I've never made nobody a millionaire. So I'm not saying I'm giving you the best advice because I'm not Diddy. I've never made nobody a millionaire. But I forgot personal. about dude to do the beast. Personal. Shout out Diddy. Diddy right. a beast. Right. right. So when I look at certain shit, I be like, okay, he cool. He dope. He saying some cool shit. And like you said, you have to adapt with the times. I can go back to Youngin' at 16 and be like, nigga, bar wise, when none of you niggas fucking with bar, bar Youngin' at 16. Facts. Now, you keep it more simple because you know motherfuckers relate, relate to simple. It's the I, I understand the difference. It's so, the trend, homie. Because I get that. if you don't follow the trend, you're going to get lost inside of the trend. We go to doing Code 7. When I go to talking to local niggas, when I'm, when I'm saying this, because cause my our only plan for Code 7 is this. I want to, if we build a middleman platform right. to where we don't have, we're not being biased, we're giving everybody a shot, we got this middleman platform. See, it means to listen to it. All type of shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right. From R&B to all type of shit. I'm. I listen to. I personally Everybody listen to rock and roll niggas from there. A lot of shit just goes on in the city. Is slept on. Fact. Nobody what? speaks on. Nobody speaks that. 
Pee Wee, well, landlord. Nobody speaks that the landlord that signed, then got signed to Starlito. Nobody speaks that landlord been on tour with Starlito for the last two years yeah, been on straight. Street. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't talk about that. They don't talk about D Cross going overseas doing tours. They don't talk about Dizzy Wright from being where he was at and all that. People don't talk about that. So uh. Vegas has made a name for themselves in a lot of ways, and we sleep on it. We that's don't bring why it up. The song I played that coming from where I come from, which is on Sinister to the Streets, that's coming soon. I rap about a lot of that shit. Right. And I talked about not even just necessarily the local celebrities not getting they shine. I rap about our city because you gonna run into California niggas, you gonna run into Chicago niggas, you gonna run into Denver niggas, you gonna run into uh, Idaho niggas, you gonna run into everywhere other than Vegas mm -hmm. that has a lot to say about Vegas crime rate, gangs, and shit like that. That's why I said I'm coming from where I come from. Shit wicked. I done did a lot of shit, but I ain't gotta get specific. Time got harder, said my life a little different. I seen niggas die, lose their life inside of prison. Listen, this shit crazy where I come from. Mamas lost their firstborn where I come from. Ain't talk about it on the news where I come from, cause they worry about tourists where I come from. I keep a gun. You feel me? Because you try to put your life into every record. That's why I can't say like, man, you ain't gotta keep rapping about that because I get it. Absolutely. You putting your life into every record. Right. I didn't necessarily have the same relationship with my little sisters that I have with my little brothers because she was always with my mama. When my mama leave and go to work, she'll take them to a babysitter. But I'm stuck with JK Boy. and Jakari, so I'm raising them. And I can see what it's like to raise young men. So in my mind, when I'm in prison, I'm like, I have to come home with as much game as possible so I can give it to them. Mm -hmm. Not saying that them little niggas listen because them little niggas hard-headed as a bitch. Put my niggas at the top. Mm -hmm. But that's why I respect the niggas that I record around. Wes, Pistols, Scott. I respect them because they telling the truth. Pistols got an unreleased song called If They Gonna Miss Me. Mm -hmm. But he come off this for little youngin, Brody fresh out the feds. You going through it, Brody hold up your head. I couldn't imagine all that state and fed time a nigga took to the head. Ten days before he came home, his mama was then he paused and he like, damn, I can't say it. Shit, have fuck up your head. Right. Yeah. That's true. Mm -hmm. Ten days before I came home, my mama was gone. I it wasn't no more Danielle. It wasn't no more me coming home to my mama. You feel me? It was true. Think? And that's yeah. what I said earlier. When you get there. Do you start being fake? You being real right nah, now. Nah, Do you nah, start nah, being nah, fake? Nah. Do you say, you know what, I'm just gonna keep on rapping about this? Nah, you follow the trend, right? Mm -hmm. You still drop music about the street shit, and you still give back. You have to give back, no matter where yeah. you come from. So, so there's because no they're not gonna respect you. Who's That's not? A, that, nigga, the, your city. Wow. Certain people because you're not doing nothing. For your city. Oh, if you talking about we giving back. Right. So to that. me, I'm still gonna give back. I'm gonna follow the trend. And for the street shit, I still got that too. So what you looking for? You looking for me giving back? No, I'm looking for growth. Okay, looking okay. For, the I'm trend looking for, is growth. No, listen, listen. The trend is not growth. Okay. Growth is. What's growth? Jay Z is your Jay Z is your 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 man. Growth is four 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 album. Growth is the black album. Growth. Growth is, I'm telling you about the streets, but I'm telling you this is not the way. I'm telling you we not doing this. I'm telling you, look, you can put your money in this, you can invest in this, you can get this to get this. Now I'm giving you game because you have to realize at one point you are what the people is wanting to be. You, right now, right now, your, your brother getting in the most bullshit, right? It's going to always be on your heart because it's like, I got a nephew doing 30, right? I was in prison. When I heard my nephew was facing life, right? For me, it's always I fucked up. Right. I don't blame That's how him. I feel. And you know what's crazy? I want to say a month or two before you went to jail, I tell I tell J.K. I say, listen, bruh, I don't blame you, right? Mm -hmm. I blame myself. Why do I blame myself? Because. I was put in a position to where I was forced to be out of your life. 
I had a decision to make though, rather follow suit or stay home. But I felt like if I followed suit, I wasn't going to be who I became today. So I chose that decision. So I blame everything that's going on in your life. I get, I take responsibility for it. Right. So don't feel bad. I'm not telling you to go do no stupid shit, but don't feel bad, but just try to better yourself so we can do that. I knew I had niggas that was willing to risk their life and put their life on the line for me. Right. Right? And I had Facts. enough power to make these things happen. So I told Tiff when I started Code 7, I say, damn, if we, if we made that energy positive energy and we pushed it. Now, this is me speaking at as 36, like Tiff said, we oh, it can be, we've been, we been the negative influence. If we could be a positive influence and make a few changes, it's in the end of it, it's worth it. Whether this shit blow up and give me a million dollars or whether I only make a thousand in the end, it's sure. worth it. So that's so that's my thing. That's what I that's what I'm saying to you. Once you get to that point, it's like, do I keep drilling y'all with this bullshit? I do I finally say nah because I've been on your head. Period. You feel me? This ain't nothing That's new. I've stuff. been on your head. I say, I, I say all I say all that shit to say like that when perspective it, crazy. When it I'm come to them, bro. when it come to you doing the music that you're doing, when it come to who you end up working with. Whether, whether it's on or off the mic, you know what I'm saying? Because you can work with a motherfucker that's producer-wise. You can work with a motherfucker on some behind-the-scenes shit. We we got to take out the streets when it comes to shit like that. Only because it's going to it's gonna hinder the growth. Cause you my are, my you words, are. though, once I get to the game, I notice I'm going to pop. Motherfucker, <laughs> I, I'm telling them now, I'm going to pop. <laughs> I'm going to pop. It ain't, it ain't. Soon as I because make it, because I see it, I see it already. You're an artist. Just um. at this point, it gotta be business, and it gotta, it can't be personal. When we get on, when we get on this in front of this camera, when we do this shit. We have realized this is not personal. Perfect. I don't give a fuck how you niggas feel about it when y'all see me or none of that. Because my my real homies and the real niggas that know me, my, 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 gonna respect what the fuck I'm doing. Because at the end of the day, I've been a leader my whole life. You, you can't tell me how to do nothing else. I, this is what I've been my whole life. So to the outside, it's like. You a Northtown nigga. Absolutely. I can't find one song with a lot of Northtown niggas from Youngin. Yeah. So Vegas wise, a Vegas nigga would be like, this nigga that's why I already work Mac. with the wrong niggas. Right. That's why I brought right. Trey Mac. That's why you bring up certain shit like that. At, at the beginning of the conversation. That's how everything comes full circle. So, that being said, man, we gonna, we gonna get about here. Only thing I do got Keep grinding, man. Keep grinding for sure. Seven questions for you, but I got one. That's bad odds. <laughs> you hear me? Yeah. And it's cold seven. And it's cold no, seven. No, listen, I done gave you more than seven. I got seven, I got what? I, got I, got one. One. I mean, because this, this this little interview was kind of intense. It wasn't what I expected. It wasn't what I expected. This is what it's supposed to be. Yeah, it was dope. This is what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be raw. It's, you got all these rappers you like. And I always see the question. That's fucking funny to me. Gun in your head. 16 bars. Oh, you did. What 16 you going for? Who 16 can you spit? Every word. Every word. Right now. Locally or industry? Out, yeah, wherever. Whatever, nigga. The under your head is 16 bars. You got to give me 16. I don't care where it come from. It, but it can't be you. Who you going with? And you said it could be industry or local. Yeah. Anywhere. Anywhere. But you got to give me 16. Damn, that's hard because industry and locally. I just need one sixteen. I don't well. think I might. I should go word for word. Industry. Industry who? You bet. You gotta pick it because you're gonna have to say the sixteen on here. So I, I'ma need them sixteen. It's more than sixteen, but I'ma just spit and I'ma stop where I think it's sixteen. At. Okay. Wayne, upgrade you freestyle. Oh my god. No yeah. way you know Wayne. You upgrade. would ever talk. That nigga don't know that. Boy, you don't know that. The block is getting money is what we own. Ron drop top in the winter with the heat on. Bad yellow bitch keep my passenger seat warm. Leg hanging out the window, you ain't got these on. Bitch holla, it is low easy. They cannot see me, they are like Stevie. I am burying a ton like we be. I circle your house like Call it in the heebie, GBs, never get freebies. 75,000 for these jeans, shit. I can fit a hundred thousand up in these jeans. 
big stacks. My pockets on creatine. Yeah, we a team. If you don't like it, nigga, fuck it. No Vaseline. Skirt. Pull off in a Lamborghini. Like a tangerine. Got the industry shaking like a tambourine. Like a bitch with some licks like Angeline. Oh, Jolie, holy, die slow. I go where no other guy go. Fuck you, ho. I'm so five, ho. Fo, I hope every snitch die slow. Mm, Hip hop, that's my hoe. I know. She know I like it where well. no one don't drive. Alright, uh, bitch, I am D boy and no decoy. And, and I, I was straight up destroy an E boy orbit. orbit. And I pre for money and bitches not just B4. Re or young money bitch and I am the, the leader. Or. We are currency Mac main and Ninor. And I just signed a chick named Nikki Ninarch. But me, I'm still spitting like a retard. And these niggas soft, they should be rapping in Leotard. Nigga, we in charge. Baby, put me in charge. And I'm just murdering niggas. Free of charge. You dig? Just holler back, I see you, Sarge. And I'm so motherfucking high, I can eat a star. <laughs> That's the rap, nigga. Way Young and hard, buddy, man. Hey, y'all know what this is, Cold man. This seven, is Cold man. 7, man. We up out of here. Y'all know where to find us at. Y'all know YouTube, For man. Sure. Appreciate the K O D E S E. Number 7 E N. Young and hard body, we out of here today, man. He gone. We up out of here. That nigga Wayne boy. <laughs> that nigga Wayne boy having to go also. Hey, you know here? I ain't got that much time. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button and shit. Oh here, wherever we said, tune in. Cold seven. Probably talk about Tizzle.